Hey guys, welcome to my first ever game review uh, by Rain Game Review. We are covering Atlas today, which is a MMORPG created by the same creators of Ark. Now I will say that much like Ark, it does have some things uh, that are similar, but some things that are very different, which is fantastic. The gameplay is similar in the way that you need a lot of thatch and a lot of collecting and a lot of stuff like that, as well as you can see here the menu settings. Now the menu settings are very intricate where you can change them to however high or however low you want depending on how difficult you want the game to be. Now if you want the game to be harder, by all means go and switch it up to the hardest difficulty possible. You want to be the best hardest badass pirate out there uh, then everything just turn everything up now if you're like me and you're just learning the game and you kind of want to relax a little bit you'll notice that i'm turning some things up versus some things down to ease the game a little bit into the to the settings that i want it to be to make it the best game play for me and also so you know that there is two pages of customizable menus, so general and advanced. Within the advanced, there are a little bit more uh, settings available to you. Now next you'll see the character creation and it is very, very advanced. Uh, you can change chin size, head size, cheek size, body length, body width, leg width, hair, face, male or female, height, age, skin color, muscle tone, preview the length of the hair. So this hair is the longest that it will grow. You'll also notice that there are four maps that you can start on as well as whether you, or what you can name, sorry, your person with their first and last name. Bear in mind that that is what your clan essentially will be called. So make it a good one. Up next, we notice that uh, with the leveling system that there are a lot of tech trees that you can go through and train your pirate to be the best pirate that you want to be. Here we just took some of the random basic ones to get us started, um, but you can choose which ones are geared best for you in the sense that you want for becoming a pirate. Now, like I said, this is a game about becoming the best pirate that you can be so there are boats uh, the basic boat is called a dinghy you start off with that now I will tell you that the controls are a little wonky so you will have to get used to sailing uh, you can also repair your boat by making a repair hammer um, as you'll be seeing and that way if your boat takes damage by waves or anything like that you are able to repair it so don't worry about that you don't have to build glorious amounts of boats unless you absolutely want to have a fleet for days now like I said this here shows the mechanics a little bit of how the boat moves so it is like I said a little tedious and shallow waters do make for difficult boat travel now, I did want to take a minute to talk about graphics and price point and uh, what is needed to play the game. Now, to play the game, you do need Windows 7, 8.1, or 10 in a 64-bit version, as well as an Intel Core i5 2400 or AMD FX 8320 or better. So that's for your processor. You do need about 4 gigs of RAM as well as an NVIDIA GTX 770 2 gigs or an AMD Radeon HD 7870 2 gigs or better graphics card. Now, the game is massive. Storage is 120 gigabytes. For early access, I find that's a little bit big, but I can understand why they have it that big. Now, like I said, keep in mind that it is early access, so there are a few bugs and a little bit of uh, a few issues with it. Two issues that I've noticed so far with the game are that there are two maps available to you, Ocean and Blackhand, or Blackwood, sorry. Now the Blackwood map, every time I've tried to play it, it has either closed the game on me or made it so that I cannot play the game. So you will have to play on the Ocean map unless you can get that working. The second thing I've noticed is that upon making your character and loading into the game, it does take quite a bit of time, so know your game does freeze, but 
your character will be made and you will start off in a small inlet town with two vendors available to you for trading of people to have on your ship as well as respecking. So if you are not able to pick the things that you want or you've decided that you want to switch up how you want to pirate, don't fret. There is a way to buy a respecking coin. However, it does cost 250 gold coins. So keep in mind that it is, I'm assuming, fairly expensive. Now, the other thing I do want to note is the game is currently on sale. So until January 2nd. So the sale price is $5.43 Canadian and the original price is $33.99 Canadian. The original price, I think the game for the game, because it is early access, is a little expensive. However, with the graphic details and how much we have explored so far of it, it might be worth it if you're into the sandbox MMO type of games like Ark, Conan, uh, The Forest, Seven Days to Die, or games like that. Uh, if you're not into those games, but you do want to try it, like I said, it is on sale until January 2nd. So that might be something you want to get into and try it while it's on sale. So you're not paying the full price for the game. Right now, we're just running around and collecting things uh, to show you a little bit of how the collection system works. And how the building system works as well. And note that I am making a really big base at the moment, but that is because I have realized that some of the objects that we want to place are rather big, so they do take up a lot more space. If you're going right off the bat for a big, big ship, I wouldn't make your base overly big, because that's going to come as a detriment to you later on. Now the killing system, there are two different ways. There's melee as well as throwing. So if you'll notice, this one here is a throwing. You have to throw it to attack with it. Uh, we generally, myself, I like to take bow and arrows and spears and stuff like that for throwing. So I didn't really check out how the melee works itself yet, and I do apologize for that. But the throwing mechanics seem to be pretty good, and it does give you a crosshair. So you're not blindly throwing spears or arrows into the air hoping for the best. Overall, I think... The game is beautiful. It has wonderful graphics. It has wonderful mechanics. <laughs> um, the animals are well done. You have to have different taming things and stuff for every animal possible. Uh, there are saddles so you can ride them. Like I said, overall, it's a generally good game. It is very much like its sister game, Ark. So that is something that you will notice uh, in comparison. So before you give it a little bit of judgment, please take the time to actually try and play it. See how you like it. Uh, I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. It's something that I'm glad I was gifted. Um, it'll definitely get lots of playtime for sure. So definitely worth the sale price 100%. But I really honestly think uh, for your money, it's, it's, it's worth it. So definitely give it a try and see how you like it. And let me know in the comments below how you feel about the game, how you felt about this. And tell me what more you'd like to see uh, next time or what things that we could go over better. Uh, the rate, like rating wise, graphic wise or anything like that. Just give me a heads up so we know what we can go ahead and add more into for the game reviews. Um, I would honestly really love that feedback as it helps me as a reviewer go through things more for you and for you to enjoy the review a little bit more. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next review and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day guys.